Oh wow, it kicked in quick today. Let me just get to my page. And hopefully this will work well. Got that. Where did I put the cards? Oh, there I to do do do. Come on, videos. Pop on up. Come on, live stream. Pop on up. All right. Pop on up, pop on up. Let's see, let's go here. Whoever is watching, hello, hello, but I cannot see you yet. I am getting there. I am getting there. One segundo. Just one segundo. One segundo. Anybody watching this after the fact, um, just bear with me while I get myself together. And we shall be making some shaker cards. Let me just make sure that my angle is good here. Hello, Deb. Hi, Janice. Hey, Sandra. Hello, my beautiful ladies. Just trying to get the angle on this thing just right. I think that's pretty good right there. Hola, hola. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to be making some shaker cards using um, my winnings from Brandy, who is left handed crafter here. Hello, Titi. And uh, she, on um, the challenge that she just had, um, part of my prize package was. Um, some ready to go cards. These are by, um, let me just take them out this package. They're by Jilly Bean. Hopefully, you guys can see that well. They're by Jilly Bean, uh, which is Hampton Arts. And she also included the little, um, the little cup things that go in here, the little small circle. So, we're going to be doing some stamping, some watercoloring, adding some glitter, and doing all kinds of stuff. Hey, Janet. Hello Tiffany, hola Erica, como estas? <laughs> um, so, we're going to be doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, I have never ever, um, yeah, I don't think I've ever made a shaker card. Um, I've made shaker wands and I use the washi boxes to do that um, because it's just easier that way. But I've never actually put together one of these, so this should be interesting to see how this actually comes out. I am doing good today. So I'm just gonna take these little um, cup things out of here. I don't know how many cards I'm gonna end up doing, so we'll see how this goes. This is perfect because I just bought these but haven't done anything with them yet. Woohoo! Awesome, Deb, awesome. So I have some stamps and like I said, we're going to be doing some water coloring and um, using like some water soluble like markers and stuff like that. So that's the goal for today. I actually embossed this one, but I don't think I'm going to use it yet because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. So this will probably be like done on a different video. So like, you know what, let me just 
keep the little cup put that little cup in there for that and I'll keep that to the side um, I kept the plain ones the ones that have not uh, been used because I just I literally popped these open today um, but I was trying to practice earlier but I didn't get very far <laughs> Hello Janice. So we have that. We have this. Um, I have some eBay stamps that I pulled out. Um, so we're going to see how this works. And I'm also going to do some uh, water coloring with the background using um, water soluble markers and some plastic and some spray um, to do like different kind of backgrounds on these. So we're going to see how this goes. I got my little boxes here with my sequences. Um, I got a few different ones with different colors. I got mine separated. So I got like, um, these are like stars, different sized stars. This one's got my blues and my greens in it. This one's got my pinks, um, reds, and purples. And this one's got my coppers, golds, yellows, oranges, uh, and all that jazz. <laughs> So let's see, I'm so frustrated. I've been trying to get some Martha Stewart punches from Tuesday morning, but I'm sick as a frog. I have the money, but they don't have a website where I can order them. I know, that sucks about Tuesday morning, but I guess that's how they can keep their prices really cheap. Although I think that if they did, um, if they did allow us to order online, because like I don't have a Tuesday morning, um, it would probably, you know, quadruple their financial intake. At least when it comes to the crafty stuff, because I know a lot of us would probably be ordering from there. I know I would if they had that. But I hope you feel better, Erica. I know it sucks when you're sick, and especially when there's sales going on and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. I personally don't um, do much shopping in like the stores themselves. I I order online, like I'll go to eBay or I'll go to like um, Michaels.com or Joann's.com. Like I'll do everything pretty much online. Thank God for those coupons. The only thing that kills me is the shipping. Ugh. So I try to take advantage when the shipping is on sale. Hey, Dana. So, uh, I guess we can start getting this show on the road. And we're going to start with our first card. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do on this card is start working on this background. So I'm going to get myself um, some paper. And I'm going to just um, pretty much fold this paper. I want to try to protect the inside of this card as much as possible. Because I'm going to be doing like a stick and peel type of, that's what I call it anyway. When I lay color on a, on a separate, um, you know, on a separate uh, either piece of plastic or paper. And then I'll stick whatever it is and then I'll peel it back. I call that stick and peel. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try to protect this card as much as possible. Um... So pretty much what I'm doing, I just folded a piece of paper here because uh, I only want to color this part of it here. So hopefully um, I'll be able to kind of get that in there. So I'm just going to kind of uh, fold this down like so. I'm going to add some tape to that if I can find some. Found some. So stick this down like so to protect the inside of the card so that the inside of the card doesn't get damaged at all and I left this open just in case um, you know a little bit of spillage or anything like that um, happens who else is here hi Kelly I don't have a Tuesday morning but I got a birthday coming <laughs> I'm just kidding um, but yeah I don't have a Tuesday morning <laughs> All I have is Michael's and it's literally a $10 cab ride from my house one way and a $10 cab ride from my house the other way. So I might as well just invest that and order online because either way, um, whatever I go save, I spend just getting there and coming back. So I don't even bother anymore. I don't even bother anymore. So let's see here. What do I need? I need some, I need a sheet of plastic. I do need that. So I'm going to look for a sheet of plastic that I can use. Um, and I got one of these, uh, the little, you know, insert pages. So I'm going to grab that. And 
I don't really know which stamps that I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna decorate the background first and then whatever it inspires me to use then I'll use that hello crystal how you doing love um, so for the most part I'm gonna do it that way I'm gonna spray this down with some color and then I'm gonna stick my card um, the front of my card onto it and then just allow this to dry and then I'm probably gonna do that to at least two of them just to get a little variation going and I got my spray bottle here I'm gonna get some cheap watercolor you know um, water soluble markers um, that I think will do the job and I got like these from the Dollar Tree so this is the color therapy ones so I'm gonna pull out a couple of those and see what color scheme I can come out with because I think I got sequins to match um, most of these um, cheapy choppy uh, markers and I bought these specifically to do these kinds of backgrounds with um, and to use it like in my journal my, my art journal and stuff like that because it's really really cheap and I don't care if it gets messed up hey Liz how you gonna forget girl mm. <laughs> well you made it I haven't even started it yet <laughs> We're going to start now. Um, so I'm just pulling out some markers and I'm just going to pull out as many of them as I can find. Um, I just have them all over the place in this little basket that I have here. So just bear with me while I find some. And I'm even going to pull out some of the Tim Holtz Distress ones. Um, just to add any variation in color that I might not have so I'm gonna pull out those as well and I'm just gonna pull out um, bright colors um, orange this is not bright this peacock color here some blue oh I found orange so I'm just gonna pull out my markers for right now and then um, I even got these. These came with another, um, this was a Happy Mail that uh, Brandy sent me. So I'm going to even use some of these. So these are all water soluble um, type markers that you pretty much can, you know, uh, water down or use like a watercolor if you want to. So I'm going to start creating my background by coloring in and then I'm going to be sticking and peeling as I go. So I'm going to start with blue. And just kind of lay that in there it doesn't really matter I mean if you want to go pattern that's up to you but you just want to lay that color in there so I got some blue um, I'm gonna add some yellow in here and the reason I use this for this is because I don't care if they get contaminated or you know if the colors blend because they're only a dollar and I can always get another pack from Dollar Tree if it's something that I need to do um, let me add some pink over here somewhere and these colors should blend with each other giving you a nice uh, kind of ombre effect um, as they blend and uh, let's see what else let me go with this purple here on the side Yes, Crystal, me too. Very, very happy. So I got some of that. Let me go back into it with some of this yellow, but um, let me see what I have here. See, like the Tim Holtz ones, I wouldn't be so quick to do this with because obviously those are Tim Holtz. <laughs> but um, with these cheapy ones, like these dollar ones, it's pretty much um, okay to do so. So now we just want to spray it down with some water and I've already like I said I covered up my card I used a regular sheet of um, you know copy paper I folded it over from front to back so that I don't get the inside of this card damaged or if you don't want to stain it that you won't stain it and then I'm just gonna apply it like so and hope that it catches good and then I'm just gonna peel it back so you guys see that you got a beautiful um, 
you know kind of a wash in here which looks really really nice I like that a lot and then you just slide out your um, your paper and you're pretty much good to go now once this dries Isn't it awesome? I love the water soluble markers because it doesn't really matter the brands um, when it comes to those, especially when you're doing these types of projects. Now, obviously, the more um, the more expensive the marker, or the the better the brands, I should say, not so much the more expensive the marker, but the better the brands, then the more vibrant your colors are gonna be. This is like a unicorn type of a feel. At least that's what I'm getting off of it. But I don't have any unicorn stamps, so we're gonna figure it out. But um. I'm just allowing some of that, whatever drippage is there, to kind of seep down. And um, pretty much that's it. I'm, I missed a little corner here, so I'm just going to go into it real quick and just get some of that. Tapping off some of that excess. But um, so far, I really like how this came out. And it's nice and subtle and if you want to add more colors then just allow it to dry then you know do it again and then add more colors or use your heat tool and dry it unfortunately i can't go that route here but um if you have the option to do so then by all means feel free then just clean your paper off if you want to start with a fresh set of colors um and i'm going to go a little bit more vibrant with the next one i'm going to try some some of the tim holtz ones and do it with that and i'm going to go ahead and grab my my new card yes it's okay if it's a little bit transparent that's pretty fine I mean that's you know that's 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 okay if it does that as long as you get a nice wash because you can always add more to it after it dries so it's not too bad so I'm gonna do the same thing again I've pretty much uh, made a sleeve to insert my card into again so that I don't damage the background and granted, this um, little spot right here is a little wet, so I'm going to go ahead and add another piece of paper in there. You'll probably be better off if you add maybe, if you do this and maybe add a napkin or something on the inside of that, just so that you don't, um, if you're doing many cards, one after the other, just so that you don't damage uh, the inside of your card. I don't mind doing this to my papers because many of you guys know that I use these in my in my journal after it after I pretty much saturated with them with all different kinds of mediums and colors after I finished my art I'll use these to shred them up and use them in mixed media so um, it actually works okay for me doing it this way so let's see let's get some reds in here let's get some reds and you could already see that with the Tim Holt markers, obviously there's going to be a, a difference uh, in the color. You could even use your stamps, like your distressed stamps. You can do that and use that in there as well. And I am going to, where's my yellow? And I'm going to go into this with some yellow, some of this Tim Holt yellow. Uh, this is the mustard seed color. Hey Brandy, you made it! So pretty much going into it with a little bit of this. And let's see what other color we can add in here that'll go red with um, well with the red. I think we can maybe go for some of this berry color in here. And let's add some more red on here just to kind of marry it all. Now my distress markers are pretty, um, I don't want to say old, but they've been around for a little while, since sometime last year, so I've used the living heck out of them. Um, get some yellow. And this is just to create, you know, different kinds of backgrounds and stuff. Um, I see a lot of people doing this on uh, my Instagram. So this is something that has actually been around for quite some time. They do their beautiful lettering. 
um, by using this technique. I'm going to let this drip down a little bit. Just to create maybe, I don't know, uh, some textured type of a background. And let's see what happens. So, here goes nothing. And we're pressing it down. And we've picked up some of the berry. Let's see if you guys can see that. Some of that berry color, um, some of the purple. And I'm gonna go into this after it's all dry and hot and lighten up or brighten up, I mean, some of these colors just to make them a little bit more bold and more intense. But that's pretty much about it. Um, as far as how to do this, I don't need that anymore. And if you miss any spots, then just go into it again and just pick up whatever you're missing. And like so. Let me just clean up my little plastic sheet. And you can pretty much do this on any kind of, um, you know, not so much cards. You can do this on anything. You can use this in your mixed media, um, you know, all type, all different types of projects and stuff like that. So, I think my card is um, pretty dry. This is the first one that I made. So we have the two different ones. This one's a little bit more pink and melon. Um, this one's a little bit more of the unicorn uh, colors in there. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to accentuate some of these edges. By just um, going into it with some of the blue. Because the blue is like um, right on the top. So I'm going to use a little bit of the blue marker itself to just kind of um, darken up some of these edges here. And then we'll see what we make. And I'm going to pull out my sequin mix, which is going to have to be in these kind of colors. Um, but first, I have to stamp out the image and see where I'm going to go with that. Because I don't even know, you guys. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let me just get a watercolor brush real quick. One of those um, water brushes. Just so that I can move some of that color around. Um, or maybe start intensifying some of these colors. Where's my plastic sheet? I'm going to keep my plastic sheet right there because I'm going to feed off of, um, I'm going to be feeding right off of the colors. Hold on, you guys. Let me just refresh my feed because I think I'm stuck in my screen. Are you guys getting me well? Hold on, give me one second. My my screen seems to have frozen. Did it? Or did it not? Let's see. Okay, it's just refreshing. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna um just add a little bit of water here on the side. And I'm gonna bring in some of this same marker that I was using. And I'm gonna, this is, I don't have any water in this barrel, so I'm just um, wetting it right on here. Let me get my, just to clean off any color that might have been on here previously. Let's see. And then you could just kind of turn that into a watercolor just by adding some water to it. As long as you kind of do it on a plastic surface, um, they won't absorb it, you should be fine. So I'm just going to go into this and just kind of strengthen up uh, some of these colors a little bit. Because even though I do like the white uh, kind of showing there, that's the good thing about this. You can actually just kind of move it around a little bit. Just wanted to clean up that top. And I'm gonna go over my little edges here that I um, added that water, you know, that water soluble marker. So I'm just uh, kind of going over the edges. And letting that kind of come into the picture. 
And card making is something that is completely new to me, you guys. Perfect. I'm glad you guys can see me well. I figured out how to disable my notifications on the phone. So hopefully while this app is running, I won't get those interruptions. But please let me know um, if my feed is either uh, jumpy, laggy, or whatever the case may be. Because I disabled them, so it should allow for the, um, for the, the app, the, the Camerify app to run a lot smoother. So hopefully. Okay, so I got that done. Now to figure out what kind of stamp I'm going to use and how I'm going to use it. Before I even add my sequence mix, I'm going to figure out which stamp I'm going to use. Um, I kind of like this one. This is one of those eBay uh, stamp sets. I might have used this one before. You guys might have seen me use it before. I am not sure. But um, what I'm going to do before I even figure out what I'm going to do with it, I'm just going to lay this piece of plastic out over it. Just so that I can start placing some of my stamps on it and just seeing how it looks overall and if I like it um, before I actually get into the stamping mode. Um, so let me just grab some tape. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so I'm just going to put this here. I'm just going to tape this plastic down with the card underneath so that I can figure out where I want some of these stamps to go um, before I actually start stamping. Like I know for sure I'm going to want this one down here somewhere. And let's see. Maybe this cute little dragonfly. dragonfly where where are you little dragonfly where am I gonna place you that I won't lose you completely you're so big little dragonfly is not so little um, let's see let me pull out a different stamp so I can add more variety to that I'm not really 100% with that one right now That one alone won't do it for me. Let's see. This is usually when I first started to stamp. Um, when I first started to buy stamps, I was completely oblivious to keeping things in their natural order. And so as time went on, and I started becoming a little bit more aware <laughs> of the things that I was doing wrong. I found covers. No, what I do is that I use the packages, stickers, and stuff like that that I've already um, pretty much, you know, kind of went through. And then they actually um, that little protective coating that that cardboard has is actually really good for sticking your stamps on it, and it actually holds them really well. So that's what I started doing on um, those stamps that I that I don't have um, packages for. I just kind of um, group them together so I have like my flowers and my leaves and stuff like that on one sheet I have like butterflies and stuff like that on a different one so um, just a little hint if you know a little tip if any of you guys are going through the same thing where you have stamps that don't have um, packages and you don't know what to do with them um, the packaging for like your Dollar Tree stickers and stuff like that works perfect um, I have many of my stamps from my younger days <laughs> uh, stored that way. So let me just see. I'm just looking for a pack that I have that has butterflies in it. Here we go. So like here I have one that's another package that I have and it's got like a whole bunch of different butterflies. This one has different sizes so I should be able to find one that fits in here nicely. Um, So pretty much you guys can see they don't fall off it holds it really really well um, so just a little tip for you guys in case you're interested 
and something like that. So this goes like this. Okay. Um, so I can place some of these. Oh, this goes like this. Uh, what did I do? This goes like this. So it's gonna go like this, and then this is gonna be facing down, and I can put that kind of like right there. All right, so I pretty much got the beginning stages of what my card is going to look like. The center, I'm going to make like a sun. I think that's my best approach since I have blue on the top and I have some of this yellow kind of radiating down. I'm going to turn the little cup, the little shaker cup, I'm going to put like gold mixes in there um, and probably like bright stars, like yellow stars to kind of turn that into a sunset um, while the flowers and stuff like that are in the background. I think that that's probably my best, uh, my best way of going about this. So... I have my stamps ready to go. I kind of like how that looks. So I'm going to go into this um, and wish me luck. <laughs> I'm starting to break up. Yeah, I noticed that my, my video feed on the YouTube it keeps stopping. Like I see myself kind of freeze framing. But I'm not sure if that's the video itself. Like, Let me just look at this timer real quick because usually the timer will stall on me on the on the app I've noticed that it does that but so far it's not stalling but it could just be that my computer is a little dirty I, I worried so much about the phone I forgot to clean up the computer itself so I have my card here and what I'm gonna do is get my I'm just going to kind of put that there so that I have at least something, some kind of a backing on this card. And I do have to put something in the center of that so that I don't dirty it. Where's the index card when you need one? Right here. And I'm just going to place the index card in the center here just so that I don't dirty the inside of my card. Thanks for the tips. Always looking for ways to store stamps. Yes. Um, so if you want to minimize your um, packages and you want to group them by season or stuff like that that's also a really good way to go about storing those stamps is by putting them together kind of like how i showed you like i have my butterflies and stuff in one spot and i'll have like um things to do with foliage um, or flourishes i'll have those together in another spot i mean now i'm keeping them in their respective packages but um I know that at one point or the other, I will get to the point where I know I'm going to keep these. I use these all the time and I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, kind of group them um, so that I have less packages, you know, in a, in a more functional kind of way of just pulling out a sheet and just pulling out the ones that I need um, and making my life a little bit easier that way. So let's see here. I need a, I need a stamping block or something of that nature. I might as well just use my stamping tool so for those of you that do not know or that are new to my channel I created a, a ways back when the stamping tools came out I made my own stamping tool which I call corky because it has a cork board <laughs> um, so this is my corky 2.0 um, and pretty much as you guys can see it's still besides the washi lifting up every now and then uh, otherwise it's still holding uh, very well and this is what I use for like mass projects so I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna actually put this straight on here and this is made using a picture frame and a plexiglass and the cork board um, so let's see here they use magnets I use tape it still serves the same function And it was super duper easy to assemble. These are all um, binder clips. Let's see. I'm just gonna just adding a little bit of tape here and there just so that um I get my foot in about me and placing my stamp where I want it to be. I just hope that um this stamp uh, these stamps hold up because some of these uh, stamps from China are awesome and others. Uh, they do not stick so well. 
I do not know why, but they do not stick. And I'm gonna use, this is Memento, this is a Memento uh, marker, which I guess is supposed to be permanent, so um, it says fade resistant, acid free, um, dye ink, dries on all paper surfaces including coated and textured papers, fast drying on most papers. Um, so I guess this is supposed to be like a permanent, so we'll see. But I am gonna go ahead and just uh, color in some of these blades of grass with this as opposed to using um, you know a, a, a stamping uh, you know a little ink thing little ink block because there are other elements on here besides the grass and I'm just gonna color most of those in now so when I put it down um, it just makes life a little bit easier and I won't have everything black or um, you know you guys know what I mean now don't ask me where I bought these because I actually bought these off of Instagram and I bought it for uh, I bought it in a lot and I spent ten dollars on them and I got a whole bunch of them um, this is why I recommend you guys go to that Instagram and get some of these um, these stashes from these people let me tell you some of them are a little expensive but I think you find that everywhere some of them are actually really really good um, and you really do get your money's worth um, or beyond your money's worth like I'll show you guys in a minute how many of these markers I got for literally 10 bucks hello I just got here what are you making hello miss martini um, I am making shaker cards and so far we've done a watercolor type of um, technique with uh, plastic and water soluble markers and this is how we created um, the background on this card and now I'm just using some of my eBay stamps um, that I've purchased from before to uh, start adding the elements on the front of this card and this card is the the center focus is gonna be the Sun so I'm gonna create a shaker card area um, with some gold and some uh, yellow stars and just things that are really really bright um, to make it look like the sun is uh, right in the center of the sky here so hopefully this did the job let's see if we need another round nope so far so good uh, I do need another round so I'm gonna go back into this let's see right here I missed this spot here so let me just uh, pick that up a little bit real quick okay here we go and I'm just gonna add another round of this because I can and um, color this in again just to make those colors a little bit more brighter and I have some little butterflies here and there on this stamp that I'm gonna um, color in as well but I wanted to care of this grass first So let's see. <clears throat> yes, I did. I did um, the plastic technique uh, by using a sheet of plastic and just uh, adding markers to that. Adding different kinds of markers, adding some water, and then pretty much sticking the surface and peeling it in order to create uh, this ombre effect, which I'll show you with the other card if you missed it. Some do good the first two or three times and then start falling off. No more stick. I know, but we can fix that now since we know that we can use vinyl um, to stick to this. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and get yourself some vinyl if you do not have any. Um, get yourself a roll of vinyl. Crycut makes it, but you can also go to any automotive um, repair shop or you know like those places that sell stuff for cars. Um, and get yourself some some vinyl sticker sheets and just add them to your stamps and then you won't have that problem anymore because you see what I'm about to do I literally thought that this huge cap was gonna fit on the end of my marker <laughs> so let me close that off and I'm just gonna move this stamp now because I have to um, cover up the rest of this area here so I am just going to add that there and just finish off this base here. Voila!
we have success so just to show you guys so far what this is looking like we have the grass and here in the center I'm gonna put the shaker area with the little cup and I'm gonna be adding some gold kind of sequins and all of this we did by um, pretty much using a sheet of plastic for those of you that were not here at the beginning we pretty much used a sheet of plastic some water soluble markers I used these from Dollar Tree um, which are the color therapy markers and you lay down different colors you spray them down or you add you know you splash some water on it and then you just stick your surface peel off your surface and then you'll get this beautiful blended um kind of ombre effects if you will on your card or your paper or, or whatever it is that you are using so we have that now i have to um get back this tape is not helping me right now let me get some better tape as many as time will allow me brandy <laughs> so i'm not sure as yet how many exactly but i'll do as many as i can and hopefully i'll do like different um different ways of making them because again i'm not an expert at making cards you guys i'm learning um as i go and this is kind of the reason why i wanted to do this um you know homemade designs on live because I know a lot of you guys are very good at what you do when it comes to working with paper and making cards and all kinds of stuff. So I figured um, I entertain you. So let's see. Oh, this tape is not the greatest. Um, so let's see here. Let me just clean off my stamp real quick. And the good thing is it's water soluble. So. Let me put this back where it goes. Get my little sheet of plastic. I'm gonna add some of these um, kind of come off on the side there. I'm gonna go into this again um, with my green. Where is it? Right here. Now you could use any kind of ink that you have. Don't feel like you have to, um, you know, buy these kinds of markers or anything like that. I The only reason that I got them is because I bought them in a lot, you guys. Otherwise, these would probably still be with the owner or in their respective stores. And um, I would not be using them because they're not cheap. At least to my understanding, they're not cheap. So, I am just kind of adding uh, different elements here and there. Hey, Nix. It is storming over here, you guys. So hopefully um, everything will work out well. But I don't know if you guys can hear the thundering behind me. But it is thundering pretty loudly over here. But it wouldn't be a live stream with me if something didn't happen, right, you guys? I definitely live by Murphy's Law. A down bugger I love my little stamping so let me tell you it cost me five dollars to make it was awesome it was the best investment I've ever done <laughs> they have so many things on sale right now Ugh. it sucks being me let's see here that I just wanted to create a little bit of foliage kind of coming off the side there and at the same time use my markers because I bought these because of um, making cards and stuff like that on Wednesday and doing other kinds of paper crafts next week you guys we're going to be making some dresses um, I'm going to be making a paper dress live uh, based on the JNS and Hobbies and Crafts. I think I'm saying that right. Um, their design. They have free templates on their website, on their blog actually I should say. Um, the designs are made by Valerie. She is an awesome lady. I've got the chance to speak to her, um, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one, and she is just super awesome. 
and I'm just super thrilled that this is actually available because these are the kind of things that you would normally have to buy and so far I am loving making these paper dresses and I'm gonna be trying a different one that I haven't done yet so I'm very very excited sun shining here boo you guys are lucky I have rain <laughs> Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. As long as it's not on Saturday, I'm good. But let's see what happens. All right, so this should do. F no, I'm not going to add no more. I'm going to add some butterflies now um, to this. And where's the cover? Add some butterflies to this. I'll probably go into those individually and just kind of, um, what should we call it, um, and just enhance those a little bit, sharpen them up just a smidge. I'm going to add a butterfly right there. And got the yellow. Um, what color should I make that butterfly? Maybe some pink since we do have um, all of this pink yumminess happening up there. Let me try maybe some dark pink. Some pink and maybe some orange on that butterfly. That's an interesting combination. So let's see here. How do I want to do this? I'm going to add the pink on the bottom. pink in here add a little bit of this orange here on top to so kind of marry these a little bit And let's see how my orange and pink butterfly looks. <laughs> Metallic butterflies. Well, I'm going to definitely be adding some accents because it wouldn't be me if I didn't add some paint in there somewhere, right? So I'm definitely going to be adding like a little bit of um, little accents here and there with the paint. Um, maybe not so much on this one, but definitely on my other ones. Like this one, I might add some metallic paint maybe on these little uh, lines here. Um... But maybe not so much on the butterfly. I think the butterfly, I'm going to go more with a little bit of glitter. Um, with some glitter paint. And see how that works out. Oh, I opened up the wrong end. Tú no sabía, amor, que iba a llover. Tú no sabía. Let's see here. Open. Open sesame. Mm. Let me add a little bit of purple into that. Son granizo. Oh, shoot. Let me add just a little bit of purple onto that. Just to darken that a little bit. Purple looks good with orange, right, you guys? Thank you, Deb. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Um, so let's see. And then I'll bring this up a little bit closer. And then I think that's about it for this one. Let me see, I need to have something teeny tiny in here that I can add maybe a little bit of something in the bottom of this. So let me just see what I find here. I should have a, a stamp set with some really small butterflies. If I can just find her. Let's see here. I have 
to figure out a better way to organize these stamps because as the collection grows, so does the headache in finding what I'm looking for. And I'm running, my organization is like getting to a limit where I can organize what I've already organized and still be able to keep organizing if that makes any sense. I got this one. This is another stamp set. I think I've showed you this one um, before. But she's got really small butterflies that I think I can implement um, somewhere along the bottom here to just make it like all these little cute butterflies are just all over the bottom. And these do not stick so well. So hopefully uh, it'll be okay. Just looking for the smallest little ones. That might be a little much already. All right, so let me just add these in. And did you guys hear that? Oh my God, the thunder. Thank you. Um, so adding a little bit of purple in here just to um, bring out a little bit more of different colors and butterflies. Butterflies are of all different colors and I love me some butterflies. For those of you that know, anything with wings I love. Let's see. Let me see what other colors I find. Let me get a little bit of um. Trying to find some different colors here. That. Um, maybe some blue. Let's try some blue. I could open it. Let's try some blue. Let's get this one out of here. We won't need this one. Let me add some purple to this one. And some pink. Oh boy, oh boy. It is thundering out here. So let's see. Just pushing those in there. But a little something something is better than nothing nothing. So we got that. I'm just going to leave that tape right on there. And just kind of show you guys how this is looking. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this and just add a little bit of glitter on some of these. Oh my God. I wish I knew it was going to rain. But I didn't check. I didn't check the weather. Let me close up my markers. And then we're going to create our first card. Woohoo! So let's see. I am going to get some of the Glamour, um, the Glamour Dust paint. And I have, I'm going to use different colors that I have here. I have purple, which is called Purple Passion. And this is um, Ultra Fine Glitter Paint. So I have Purple Passion. I have, um, maybe I'll add a little bit of the green to the grass. I have some green so that I can add that to the grass area. Um, I have a blue one in here somewhere if I can find it. Is this the blue? This is an aqua. Well, I guess the aqua will work. Well, let me see what's this one. Um, oh, neon blue. Perfect, right here. So we have some neon blue, some aqua, and then I'm going to use my regular clear glitter paint. Let me see. What the heck? Whoa. I have rocks, you guys, hitting my window. They're huge. So hopefully all will turn out well. Because now I'm getting a little nervous. 
Guys, make sure you guys close all the windows. Okay. I am getting a little nervous, you guys. So, I got my dirty little palettes that I'm going to clean up real quick. Mm -mm, not at all. Uh, am I feeding well still, you guys? Yes, hail. Hail like baseballs over here in NYC. They're just hitting everything. I can hear it. And we normally don't get hail like that over here. That's as good as that's going to get for now. Hopefully it calms down. Okay, so back to my card. So I got all my Glamour Dust paints. I have here Ice Crystal. I got a little bit of Emeralds. Some Purple Passion. Neon Blue. This is Limelight. And Aqua. So I'm going to put a little bit of each of these here. And I'm just going to go into some of these um, with that. And I thought about doing the metallic paints on this, but you know what? I think I'm just going to go with glitter all over the front, um, just in different areas. I think that'll probably be a better, um, it'll probably give me a better result overall. So I'm just going to pull out all these different colors. And I probably put way too much of that blue in there. So, anywho, if I can't use it there, I'll probably use it somewhere else. Yes, Deb, it's only been getting weirder and weirder with the weather, I tell you. Hopefully not, Kelly. Hopefully not. This is one of those times that I am glad to not be a homeowner and I just rent because that's up to them. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. I surely do need it. Pray for it to go away. Because <laughs> that's what I need. I need it to stop so I can turn the AC back on. It's hot in here. And I have some clear. Alright, so I got all my colors in here. And what I'm going to do just for measure is I have some of their loose um, glitter powder. I actually put it in here. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of their loose uh, glitter powders to each one just to add a little bit more sparkle. So I'm just going to do that and just add a little bit more blingage to my paint. And that is fine. Um, it's very fine glitter. And I have some new products coming so... I'm very excited to show you guys once they arrive. I have some new things coming for them. I'm just looking for the smallest little brush that I can find because I don't need a huge brush for this. Um, so I'm going to start off with some of this green. And I'm just mixing in some of that glitter paint. And I'm just kind of painting on some of these little um, these little leaf areas here. Just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Maida, how are you, darling? I didn't see you there. I hope it stops. <laughs> it's calming down, so whatever you guys are doing is working. <laughs> it's calming down. I just need it to stop altogether so I can turn the AC back on. So let's see. We got that.
Where's that music coming from? What do I have playing in the background? Maybe that's why. Hold on. There we go. Hmm. I had stuff playing in the background. I didn't even know. I have videos playing in the background. I'm like, where's that music coming from? It sounds like Pac-Man. All right. So we're almost done with this little area here. And then we're going to move on to the other little areas. And then get our sequence on. Woohoo. Okay, so that kind of gives it a nice little shine, and as that dries up, um, the green kind of fades out, and the only thing that will remain, for the most part, is the glitter, the green glitter, um, which I love. So, these glitters are actually very, um, very clear, very translucent. So, let's say you use just the crystal ice, you can use that on any color, and um, it'll actually, um, all you'll see is the glitter effect after. Yes, it does. Let me see if I can bring that up to you guys. So maybe you guys can see. So right now you can see that it's wet, but you can still see the sparkle of all the glitter that is on there. Está caliente over here. <laughs> very, very caliente. So let's see. So now I'm going to use my, I'm going to, I'm going to move over to my purple. Woo. Oh, that pulled down the light a little bit. Lord have mercy on me and my crafty friends. Let there be light. So let's see. So I'm just going to add some of the purple um, glitter on the little purple uh, butterfly that I added over here on the side. Yes, it's really good. Um, I really do like their products. Um, I wouldn't use it if... Um, I wouldn't continue to get them, I mean. More or less if I didn't really like them. Because it's, it's a waste to take up space with things that are not useful to you. But I really do like their products overall. Um, I get a really good performance. When it says it's going to do something, it does it. Um, which is very important. Because when you have an idea in your head, you do want the end result to somehow come out the way that you are envisioning it. So, um, I really do like it. I really do like it. Especially, like, the glitter paints. And you know me and my metallic paints, you guys. I love those things. Between the dazzling metallics and the metallic luster, that, to me, is amazing. Now, granted, I have nothing to compare to because I've never tried um, other products on that level. But, it does what I need it to do. I can use it for watercolor and my mixed media and also furniture and all different kinds of things. So um, it does wonders for me. And when I want to alter projects and stuff like that, um, it helps me achieve the look that I am going for. So I'm very pleased. And so I ordered some new colors, um, some new uh, metallic lusters, the waxes. I ordered some new colors. Um, so let's see what those look like when they get here. And I ordered some other things um, from them as well. And I got a notice that my order was approved. So now I'm just going to wait for them for it to arrive. Excuse me, you guys. Okay. So now I'm just waiting for my products to arrive and then we'll be creating something or the other with those new products. Deco Art, um, this company here, let's see if I find something with their label. Um, here we go. This brand. Uh, the products is the metallic luster, which are what Brandy calls the butters. <laughs> I always refer to her when she says that because I find that to be so cute. Um, these, the metallic lusters, which are the waxes that I use. 
so I ordered some different colors from them I'm um, I think like four or five different colors uh, my plastic is a little bit all messed up but it's these kind of butters that you can use in watercolor um, I actually have them in my palette as part of my palette I have a few different colors there and then I ordered I think I ordered some new um, metallic dazzling metallic paints but I'm not sure but I know I did order some new of the butters, so let's see what happens, um, how those look when they get here. I'm very excited about that. You are very welcome. So hopefully when that gets here, I will do a reveal and show you guys. And then if there's anything that I show you that you guys want to see me work with, then we'll learn together. <laughs> And anything that I use here, mostly as far as paints and mediums and stuff like that, it's all from them. And you can find their products on their uh, on their website. But I will talk to the person that I speak to there to see if maybe I can get you guys some kind of a discount code. I won't make any promises, but maybe there's something I can work out where you guys can maybe use a code um, that she makes specifically for like the people that watch me and stuff like that. Um, where you guys might be able to order some of these things or even get them for free I'm not sure um, at least like a sample pack I know that you can go to them now and ask them for like a sample and chances are is that you'll get it if you tell them you know I'm a YouTube artist or I, I'm a YouTube crafter or whatever it is that you do um, as long as they can verify that you are who you say you are and that you do create the things that you say you create um, I don't think that they'll have a problem with sending you um, some kind of a little package where you have all different kinds of things you'll have metallic paints you'll have gesso um, you'll have some of their their um, their mediums and just different things for you to try out you'll have some of their uh, fluid acrylics which are really fun to play with and use But that might be something that you guys might want to try um, and see if, you know, email them and see if, you know, send them your channel um, or your social media links where you have stuff that you, uh, you know, that you post, be it your Facebook, be it your YouTube, um, and ask them if there's a way that you can, you know, sample some of their products. You can even tell them that you saw, uh, you know, me, Elemental Designs. Um, you know create with some products and that you would like to try them and see what they say you might be surprised you know they might tell you yeah so you never really know I kind of took a chance and just emailed them because I saw um, I was actually googling for places that might do like um, those kinds of things where they'll send you some samples and stuff and I ran across their artist helping artist program and when I first applied, I got denied. I got the samples, but I was denied. But um, as time went on and I started sending them like the pictures of the things that I was creating with their products and just showing them like, listen, I'm really putting your things to use. Um, you know, how about that application? <laughs> um, I actually ended up getting approved. So I'm so like grateful. Um, I'm actually on their website. You can find me, Carmen, you know, in my last name, for those of you that know it. Um, I'm right there and my little logo you know the little girl that I painted the, the portrait that I painted is my little logo on there but I just wanted to show you guys so far I'm loving how this is looking you guys but you know try your luck you never know you never know see I might have missed something uh, mine's right up and I keep the lid on it and didn't leave them uncovered um, you have to add water to them and you have to add water to them and break them up you know get a, a little spatula or a little knife or a spoon break them up you know smash them down with some water on it mix it around as much as you can they're gonna be a little clumpy um, and put a lid on it you might want to maybe even put some saran wrap around around it and then put the lid on it so that you could create maybe a little bit more condensation and allow it to kind of reconstitute itself and it will because Mines get really hard and they get really, really dry and I add water and I break them up and I cover them up and a day or two, they're right back to normal and if I need to add more water, then I just add more water. It 
is it super hard? Um, they, I mean, you know, they, they dry up. They dry up just like almost any other kind of medium. It does dry up, especially if you leave them uncovered or if you don't seal them up properly, they will dry up on you. But um, for the most part, let me get some of this red out here. For the most part, if you add some water to those kinds of products from them, uh, you'll be able to, you know, reuse it. This is their sizzling red. And I'm going to add some of that on this little top butterfly over here. Because I don't have pink. <laughs> so, um, it'll have to be red. I'll add some red and I'll add some of this berry color up here. And now I'm going to add some clear on the little spaces that are right in the center. So there we go. This is pretty much good to go. And you know what's crazy? Sometime last year, I think it was, um, I had a I had a giveaway, and I was giving away. I had a whole set of mixed media stuff. I had paints. I had gesso. I had everything because they gave me an extra kit to give away. And I had two people that entered. And what I did is I ended up pretty much dividing. It was over three prizes. And I had two people that entered. So I divided the three prizes into the two people. And I shipped it out. Just as a thank you for participating. <laughs> it had everything. Everything. I had everything in there. Um, that you could have possibly used. But maybe I can do another one now that there's a little bit more interest in uh, these kinds of products. Maybe there's something else that I can work out moving forward. So I got this going. So now let me get my... Um, I have to cut out a circle to add behind this thing. Right? That's how this goes. Um, where's my little circle stuff? Let me mute myself because I'm hearing myself talk twice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mute it. Mute it. Yes, that's the goal for them to sizzle in the bright sunshine. Um, so let's see here. This goes through the bottom. I'm going to assume this kind of goes like this. So this kind of goes like that. And... I need something to stamp in the center of that sun. So I can't just have it like that. So let's see what I can do. Um, I need something round. Maybe I can do this one. It says with love. This is another one of those. another one of those um, assorted packages of stamps that I have and I'm gonna use this one here it says with love I think that might work and then I'll just cut around it and just get as much of that stamp as I can get as much of that stamp as I can and then so I think this will work for the center with love yeah that might work let me just um, get something to use that with. Um, what did I do with my stamping blocks? Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to stick this here. And again, I am going to... With love. I think I'm going to stamp that in black 
or I'm going to fill that in in black. Because any other color I think won't show. This is black. I could just do the whole thing with the regular. Why am I going now to the little pencil things? I'm just going to go at it. This is a Memento. Just the ink pad. And I did that without actually getting a cardboard to stamp it on. Jeez Louise Carmen. Get it together, darling. Get it together. Um, here we go. I found one. I actually have to buy more of this cardstock. Put this paint to the side. And I'm just going to ink this again. And then I'm just going to cut out what I need from here. Yes, with love. Because this circle is um, not that large. So it's hard to find a stamp that you can actually put in the center of that. So hopefully um, this one will do well. Oh, I didn't even stamp. <laughs> Lord have mercy on me. So here we go again. <laughs> I might have to go at this with my fingers, you guys. I might have to go at this with my fingers. Spend 15 minutes looking for a stamper. And then I end up using my fingers. Alright, so let's put this here. Somewhere. I just don't like using my fingers because I'll move the stamp. And then my letters will come out all blotchy. Okay. And this stamp doesn't hold that well. So I am going to do my best this, to get this to stamp properly. Because from the looks of it, I'm going to need to stamp a few times. Um, where's the other ink pad that I have? Let me use this bigger one here. This one is archival. <laughs> going through the fleet here, you guys. Going through the fleet. But I'm sure a lot of you guys go through this too. So I don't feel too bad. So this is what I like about my um, about my stamp tool because it is corkboard in the bottom. It's got that spring to it. So you can actually press into the stamp nicely. Um, and actually have some kind of cushion behind it. So it'll grab most of that impression. Voila, success, success. One more time. Who else is here? Hey, crafty girl, Carmen. Would you suggest doing the shaker before glitter accents, since drying time is different with paints? Um, what I would say is, if what you can do, because I know I do things a little sometimes a little backwards, because I'm learning as I go. Um, now that I've done it, what I would say is stamp out your images on your card after you've prepared your card. Get your shaker ready. Um, get any stamping images that you have to get done. Get all of that ready to go and prepped. And you can leave the painting for last and then just set your card to the side and let it dry. So you would want to leave the painting for last. Yes. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Although I know me moving forward, I will probably do it in a random order anyway. But um, yes, I would definitely recommend uh, you leaving the painting for last. How's the feed so far, you guys? Everything working well? I'm just going to clean up this image with a marker um, just to get it nice and crisp. But um, you can see that. And I'm probably going to let this dry a little bit and add some glitter into that anyway. Um, just so that everything kind of pops off each other. Where is the black one? I'm just crisping up some of this. Um, 
some of this stuff. And that's an eBay stamp. But uh, thankfully, this marker is helping me to get some of these lines nice and crispy. So that my sentiment shows at least rather well. I'm not going to get it perfect. I see that now because for some reason, that stamp is just not working for me. The way I wanted to, but oh well. Okay, so rah, so rah, you guys. Okay, so rah, so rah. Awesome, woohoo! Love it. Okay, so back to my paint. Um, now that I have that going, I'm just gonna use the clear, the clear on this because, like I said, I'm gonna have most of that sequence. Uh, most of that sequin mix is gonna be um, yellow. Yep. Um, or gold tone, so I'm just gonna go into this with some clear and just add some clear right over that. And I guess it fed some of the other color, which is fine. That's one thing about me, I don't fight too much with what I'm doing. Um, it is what it is, and I shall accept it. And if I cannot accept it, then I shall do it over. But for the most part, I'm okay with little happy accidents because sometimes it actually adds a little bit of. Uh, a nice element to what you're doing so I'm just kind of dabbing this on I'm not so much um, trying to trace any words or anything like that I'm just dabbing this on just to get the glitter on there nicely then I'll just smooth it out um, but for the most part I'm just dabbing most of this uh, acrylic paint you know glitter paint on and just making sure that I get a nice edging around it because I don't know how big I'm going to have to cut this out. And I'm going to add maybe a little bit of the blue around it. Only because I know I have some sky there. But I am going to blend that out just a little bit. Just so that it's not so strong of a blue. push some of that back some of this clear and just kind of clearing my um cleaning my brush as I go so that I whatever blue I pick up and I remove I do not reincorporate it into it again I just wanted to get that light little silhouette of the blue because I do have that around it um, so just so that it kind of all goes well together And then this will dry in a jiffy and then I'll be able to kind of trace this so it's gonna look something like that in the meanwhile I'll go get in my sequence mix rete because this actually dries rather quickly and so moving this thing to the side and moving this thing to the side I'm gonna start to pull out some of my um sequin mixes so let me get the little shaker cup going and this has a sticky I found this kind of weird um, I guess they're meant to go as toppers but that kind of doesn't make sense to me maybe I'm maybe it's just me being a little zany or whatever but it doesn't make much sense to me to put this on top because then you're gonna have this plastic clear edge so unless they assume that you're going to be adding lace to the edges or adding something else to kind of go over it, which it is what it is. I mean, I guess you'll, you'll do it if you, you know, if you have to. Um, but it makes more sense for me to put this this way through the actual opening and to put, you know, to do the backing and then cover up the back. Um, then it makes sense for me to do it, you know, through the top. But it doesn't have tape on the top. It only has the tape on the bottom, so I guess I'll have to um, get some sticky tape, uh, some double-sided tape, and add some double-sided tape to that edge there as well. Um, but it's just something that I noticed that I found kind of odd, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I think people put, people, put, uh, people put over the plastic inside the card. So they put the, oh, 
so that the shaker goes in on the back. Okay, I guess that'll work. That'll work. As opposed to putting the shaker on it, but then you don't have no room to write. I think I'm just going to put it on the inside, but I guess it does make sense how you're saying that. that it, it goes stuck on the back of the card. And then, I guess, but then where the sentiment goes? I mean, I guess, I don't know. I guess the sentiment goes on the inside of that. But if you wanted to write a message, you kind of shorten up your area. It comes up through the hole. I think people put... I guess you can do it anyway. The versatility, right? So let me go ahead and add some of these uh, yellows. Yellows in there. Some golds. Yellows and golds. Um, let me add some of these noisemakers in there. Um, let me get some stars. I got some teeny little baby stars in here that I can add into it. And I can go kind of ham with these. So I think I'm just going to leave this one like a yellow, right? Um, keep it all kind of yellow and not go too crazy with um, anything else with it because it is supposed to be I guess like the Sun so I'll just keep it on the yellow end and maybe add two stars in there we'll see how that kind of goes uh, do I have any other size stars I do Let's see what I can pull out of this little thingy here. I don't need the big one. Maybe some smaller ones. Alright, so I think that'll work. That'll work for now, right? That'll work for now. It's not too overly full. We'll see how that shakes, baby, in a minute. <laughs> it comes up through the hole. No, it goes up through the hole. And then they put a piece of paper over on the inside front cover yes that's what i'm gonna do too that put the paper on the inside front cover and just cover it up that way but i've never made one <laughs> listen however we make it as long as it shakes and the plastic don't fall off i think we've succeeded Deb. <laughs> that's my goal today just to get it to stick and get it to stay um, so let's see, I got my little shaker mix here. I'm going to put that on the side. I'm going to grab another one of these little cups and just kind of um, do my marking here so that I can go around it. So I need a pencil. I need a... I just need a pencil, not a pack of pencils. Hello. I guess I can use a pen. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to use this handy dandy little pen here and just mark my territory. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger than the territory because I need to stick it to the surface. So, it's still a little wet, but that has wax paper on it, so that's why I kind of did it that way. Um, so, I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit bigger than where I circled and just kind of do it that way and this should be drying soon hopefully just see how this is going to look with love right there and then my little cup right over so that should come out pretty cute right we have a little bit of the blue showing not too much um, kept it really really light on that on that blue but we definitely have you the paint is dry here you guys Look at all of that sparkle all over this card. I used some of the clear and the red up here and the and the purple. 
But look at all that sparkle. Beautiful. Where do you buy your sequins? At the Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's where I got them from. Um, and the others I got from people that do nails. <laughs> that um, usually when I do a swap with them, like they'll send me some sequin mixes or they'll send me stuff like that. Um, or even through Happy Mail Exchange when I've done swaps with other people that, you know, are into making shakers and stuff like that. Um, they've those sent me like a little sequin mix or something that they've mixed together. But for the most part, I got all my sequences through the Dollar Tree. I know that they have at least three different sets um, that they incorporate pretty much most of the colors. So, yeah. So, I think it's almost dry. Um, this should be fine for me to kind of stick on there. So, here we go. Okay, so raw, so raw, right? So let me get some of this little sticky paper thingy off. Hopefully I can get this off. Here we go. Got the sticky off. I just hope I center this properly. Ah, there goes my sequence. Didn't stick it on well enough. Okay, let's bring that down and put that sequence back in there. Get back into your respective places. How dare you? How dare you? No, I don't want to pick up the garbage. I just want to pick up the sequence. Lord, Lord. Lesson learned. <laughs> Make sure that it is stuck properly on that piece of paper prior to flipping over your sequin mixes or you are prone to lose them. Alright, I got most of it. I got most of it and let's see here. Let me just make sure that at least most of this stuff is stuck in there. I see this is going to be a pain in the katush. I don't know you guys. People make it look so easy. <laughs> I'll tell you that. People make it look so easy. Alright, so... I'm pressing down on this thing. Pressing down on this thing here. Making sure that my seal is sealed. <laughs> and just kind of going around it. And just making sure that everything is everything is everything. So, can you see the with love? Or is that one two one star too many one big star too many okay so raw so raw you guys I'm gonna try to take out one of these stars it's too big it's too many big stars in here so one big star and you find the stars, the sequin stars, um, and other shaped sequins by the um, the party favors in the party section of the Dollar Tree. At least that's where I found mine. I found it in the in the party section, and they have all different colors in the stars. So I think that's it. At least one star, um, one big star. Maybe I should just take out the big stars altogether so that you can see more of the sentiment. Let's see here. I know I'm playing a lot with this sticky stuff. But I took out the big stars because this shaker um, spot and the sentiment is just too, um, whatchamacallit, it won't, um, won't let you see the sentiment too well. So... I took out the big stars and I left the smaller ones 
And here we have the sun. And it says with love. And you can kind of shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, but don't break it. Um, so, some glue it is. Alrighty. And for the life of me, I do not know what I did with my glue bottle. With my fine line glue bottle. Do not ask me. I do not know. That thing went MIA on me. And I haven't found it for like four days. <laughs> I have no idea where I put it. So, um, yeah. However, I'm still using my favorite glue in the whole wide world. But I'm going to have to um, start a new bottle here. I'm prick a hole in this one real quick. And I pretty much just use a thumbtack for that. And... Usually I'll just stick my thumbtacks, my little ledge here. And this one was an eager beaver. And I've, the reason I like using this glue, I mean, you guys know I love this glue, but it just dries quick. I don't have it so long. Um, I was really liking the other glue until the drying process started, and I was like, okay, um, what happened here? <laughs> um, I don't have all day. I get very impatient because I'm always so eager to move on to the next step. So, um, for me to have to wait all that, uh, that was driving me insane. So let me just make sure that this is the right side up. Uh, alrighty. So sticking this baby down. And this thing comes with envelopes, but I don't know how it's supposed to fit in that envelope with a big cup in front of it. And I guess we're supposed to make this pretty somehow, so I'll have to add some kind of, um, you know, inside paper or something to kind of cover it. But this is my first shaker card. Oh my gosh, so proud, so proud. And I love the sparkly and it works it actually works eureka <laughs> so we got one done woohoo for us you also could put your uh, your sentiment in down down the pile and sequin mix in the middle then run a little glue around the top and put your cup down yes i can do that too i could definitely do that but you know how it is sometimes you work backwards <laughs> I'm one of those people that I, I go back before I go forward. It happens to me nine times out of ten. So now we're going to work on our next card, you guys. So I am going to grab another um, set of stamps and see what we do. Um, we have our son with love. This is really cute. So let's see what happens now. Now we're on to our next one. And this is this one. Um... It's very melony. Not melony as the name, but kind of melon like. <laughs> um, so we're going to use that one. And I have um, this is the kind of one that you would use maybe on a sea theme. Because um, I think of coral colors. So automatically I think of the sea. But I don't have any fishes. I don't have any snow st fish stamps um, or under the water kinds of stamps. What I do have, let me see if I find. Um, let's see what else we can uh, kind of put in there. Um, doo -doo -doo. um, something with a cute sentiment. It kind of comes ready to go. Uh, all you do. This is my first, my first set, Tanya. My very first set of um, share cups. Because like I said, I, I always did them with the, I didn't even do shaker cards because I didn't have the, I didn't have the stuff to make it. Um, so what I was just doing was the shaker wands with the washi boxes, um, which are cute, but sometimes you don't just want to make a, a wand. Sometimes you want to do something a little extra, extra, read all about it. 
Um, so let's see here. Just looking through to see if I find a, a, a nice seam um, that might actually include a sentiment and make my life easier. But it might not. So I'm just looking through here to see what I find. Um, because it's got to make sense. Otherwise, it's the point, Peter, right? Um, you know what? I have, I can actually put to use one of the ones that, um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use one of the stamp sets that, uh, Brandy gave me to go with this. So let me just pull it out. Right here. With this, um, set, because Brandy obviously thinks of everything, she gave me these two, um, these two stamp sets. So... I'm thinking about using this one since I can I have like little birds or something like that, that I can also incorporate it if I have room um, and then we can add some metallic paints to the ball and the ball is going to become I guess the background for uh, the, the little shaker ball thing the little shaker cup so I think we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go up 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 and away and um, yeah I think that'll work hello lady J Well, thanks for stopping by, Deb. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to use this one again. It's by the same brand, the Jelly Bean brand that makes, um, well, it's the Hampton Art brand. And it's called Jelly Bean Soup. And it's by the same uh, uh, company and uh, stuff as the shaker cards, the cards, the little shaker cups, and everything else that goes with it. So I'm going to put this sweet one to the side. And I'm thinking I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start actually stamping in um, some of these clouds and getting that kind of together. But I'm not going to stamp them with um, color. I'm going to stamp them with paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some metallic looking clouds. And I have here some ice blue. And... What other color? <laughs> I know you guys hear my stuff falling like they're dropping like flies over here. So I'm going to use um, some of the metallic. This is called ice blue and this is dazzling metallic and I'm going to use some of the pearlizing medium and I am going to grab um, the plastic sheet that I was using earlier to actually create the background in the first place, if I can find it. Um, let me see if I, where did I put you? I put you somewhere around here. Here we go. Um, so, putting these to the side. I'm going to go from plastic to the card itself, and I'm going to stamp paint on it. And do that that way um, and add some cloud in the background and I'm gonna put my little protective circle in there and this is just a plastic sheet that I used um, to create the background in the first place and I am going to grab a little stamp uh, my little stamping block and I'm just gonna put this on there and I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint I'm not gonna go too crazy just a little bit just a little dab of paint and a little dab of uh, pearlizing medium because I like to experiment. Um, and so we're going to see how this is going to go. And I'm just going to push into that. I'm just going to stamp that out just a little bit. Making sure that my whole stamp is kind of covered. Okay. I kind of like that. So pretty much what I did is I kind of mixed them a little bit. Let me just clean off the rest of this because I don't need the rest of this coming on there. Um, I kind of mixed that so you can see I got the blue and the white together. And then I'm just going to stamp that out and hopefully cross my fingers. Um, cross your fingers. It will all turn out okay. And I am just going to stamp some different uh, clouds here and there. I 
and hopefully this comes out okay. There we go. And once this is dry, I'll go into it with a marker and just um, add some, you know, detail it out just a smidge. Detail it out just a smidge more. I should have stamped it out on paper and not on plastic. That probably would have been better. I mean, um, as far as to get the edges, I should have stamped the stamped it once on paper after I did it on the plastic just to get that, that edge up. Let me put this this way because I'm going a little nuts over here with um, the other side that got a little dirty on me. So let's see here. And let me grab some of this paper. There we go. No pain, no gain. No. Right, ladies? That's how it goes. Something like that, right? No pain, no gain. So there we go. That one came out way better um, once I did it on the paper. I just like experimenting, just different little, uh, different little ways of doing certain things. It's all fun. How close to downtown New York are you, Carmen? Oh, I'm not. I'm in the tippy top of New York. I'm from New York City, but I no longer live there. I haven't lived there for years. kind of like that like that let's see how the rest of it pans together and then you obviously want to clean your stamp as soon as you're done with the buffoonery <laughs> when adding all the acrylic beautiful car we'll check back for this one I'm going to play with my new Gemini yes go have fun Janice thank you for joining I had to get out and come back and because you froze Ugh. Well, hopefully it's not too bad and it's, it's going to sound like the outside your window. Oh. Yes, uh, it's finally cleared up the rain. It's still drizzling, but it's no more thunder. So thank God for that. Thank God for that. So um, let's see here. What other pieces are in this stamp set? What else do we have? We have some stars. Um, let's do some stars in gold maybe. And where's this gold? I need the brightest yellow that I have. And I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And get this star on there. And let me see if I brush it on if that actually works a little bit better. Let's see how this uh, gold star looks. Yeah, I don't really like that too much, but oh well. It is what it is. It bubbles up. So, the star, not good for using with paint. So let me stamp this out first once and see. Oh, babe. Let me flatten this out just a smidge. Let's see if I can get some good um some good uh, stamps 
stamping on this without going too crazy. Eh, I could have done without the stars. I could have done without the stars. So we'll see how we fix that because I'm not too happy with this card right now. So we'll see what happens. What I am going to do is actually start cleaning up some of this, some of these edges with the paintbrush. Hi, Judy. So let's see here. So what did I do? I'm going to get some of this metallic paint that I have here and I'm just going to start cleaning up some of these, uh, some of these clouds, you guys. Let's clean up some of these clouds. As far as those stars, I am not really happy with how those stars kind of came out. So I'll see what I'll do with those. Um, I only stamped out three. So hopefully it won't be too big of a task to kind of cover up. But um, I will be trying to cover that up. I didn't really like how that, how that looked with the paint. Because it's not a flat surface. It's got that edge. Um, it's, a, it's more of just like the shape itself. And I didn't really like that. I didn't care for that too much. Um, if it would have been flat, it probably would have stamped out way better. But So I'm just using some of that remaining uh, pearlizing medium paint that I have there. Uh, just to kind of fill in these clouds and the little areas that um, I missed with the stamp. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. So we got some cloudage going on. Um, and I'm going to get some white so that I can outline these clouds just a smidge. If I can find my white. Where are you, white? You're hiding from me somewhere. So let's see. That's gray. That's brown. Found the white. <laughs> Brave lady. Yes, my out the outside of my house is finally um starting to come down some. It's finally starting to come down a little bit, so it's not so bad. So I added a little bit of white. This is just regular um, basic white acrylic paint. And I'm just going to add little hints of the white in here somewhere. I'm not going to go too crazy, but I do want to uh, create uh, a little bit of separation between these clouds. So a little bit of curvature goes a long way. A little bit of curvature goes a long way so um, and like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do with uh, these stars they're driving me crazy I'm gonna dip into the blue real quick and uh, add a little bit of this uh, clear glittery type blue but just to like the edge And just to see what happens so here I have three different paints. you see I have metallic paint I have pearlizing medium I have an I have acrylic paint and I have glitter paint uh, four four different paints on a set of clouds and I'm just gonna do this to the one side I'm not gonna cover the whole thing it's just to give it a little bit did I add paint to this thing over here oh lord um, I somehow must have dirtied the side a little bit I'm going to have a lot of fixing to do on this card here. I noticed that. But let's see if we can repair it. Because we cannot always start over, right? Every now and then you have to fix it. The Mr. Fix It has to come out. You see I kind of got some glitter paint there. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. So I'm going to try to repair that somehow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work those little gold stars I'm gonna go into that with some gold paint and try to repair that that way as well 
I hope it comes out cute. <laughs> because so far I've messed up twice. But um, this is the learning process. So you got to be okay with yourself. You got to be okay. You, may, you make mistakes. It is fine. Um, those things will happen. Those things will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the thinnest brush that I can find in here. And... Uh, try to do some damage control. Um, let's see here what I find. I have to get a new set of brushes, you guys. Alright, I think I found one. This is a nice stiff one. Stiff still. So I'm going to go into this uh, gold paint and try to repair this damage. Uh, damage control. And I'm just going to try to paint the whole thing in. I guess to start off with and see where we go from there. Just going to paint the whole thing in. And if push comes to shove, I'll just try to fix it, um, maybe with a marker or something. <coughs> maybe with a marker or something, I can fix it. Um, if I don't like it, too, you know how it looks at the end. So, just trying to work with what happens here, and do the best that I can to salvage it. And then I'm going to add some glitter to these stars, some of the clear um, glitter paint to make them shine and glisten. And I only stamped out a few, so that's the good thing. We're only going to have stars on one little, one little area of the card. So it won't be too much um, to fix. I didn't like the way that it was looking, so I just kind of gave up uh, on fixing it. You know, making more, not fixing it, but stamping more. Because it was going to make more work for me to fix later. I didn't like it. It was like the, uh, the outline of a star. And I wanted an actual solid star, like with the cloud. Um, I thought it was going to be like a solid thing, and it wasn't. So that didn't work too well for me. And then I'm just going to add like little dabs of gold uh, paint here and there to make it seem like there are some stars that are really, really far away. And these are just the ones that uh, kind of shine through. And we still have to stamp out the, um, the image. Oh, I got another star area down here. Boy, I really did go ham with these. Um, little stars <laughs> but let's see hi Sherry how are you so we'll see what happens here all right so that'll work and then I'm just gonna go over it with um, some of this glitter this is clear glitter paint that I have here on the side and I'm just going to go over some of the, the stars with some of this clear glitter paint. This will dry clear. Um, it looks milky white at the beginning, but once it's dry, all you'll get is the actual glitter. So I'll have the metallic and the glitter hopefully working together. Um, and I might even glue on some little sequin pieces, um, little stars that I have there um, in various parts just to bring the whole thing to kind of uh, together so that's what I'm doing now is just adding um, some of this paint because I love adding paint to my um, paper projects it does not always have to be um, stamps and even when it is stamps you still can incorporate other things um, to create your your cards you know do different things 
Carmen, does your IC challenge have to be postponed by the 5th or do you have to receive it by the 5th? Um, you have time. So I'm glad you asked that question because I actually haven't had a chance to make the update video. Um, but you're, I'm going to, I think I'm going to extend it for another two weeks. Um, so let's say you have a major, uh, your, your, um, VR and you want to make one, you still have time to make one. Um, and your card doesn't have to be mailed out for at least another two weeks from the 5th. So I'm thinking that it's probably going to end up ending right around the time when I start the next Happy Mail Exchange, um, video sign up, which I do on the 15th. So I think that on the 15th I, it's probably going to be the date that I'm going to, you know, um, I should have it by then. Whoever's going to enter that hasn't entered, um, I think I should have it in my hands no later than the 15th so that I can uh, choose the winner and also get my angel mail and stuff like that ready for the following month so I could just ship everything out all at once. Um, but yeah, I think by the 15th is going to be the deadline, the new deadline for my index card challenge because I did get a lot of new people asking me if they can join. Um, so I want to give everybody an opportunity to do so. Especially since, you know, I'm doing angel mail and I'm sending out like surprise packages and stuff like that. <laughs> I want to have as many people in the list as possible so that I have a good rotation of sending stuff out to new people, you know, every month. So, um, you still have time. Yes, Mayra. <laughs> um, so for the most part, I'm trying to, um, this month, um, uh, Debbie Vignola got um, Angel Mail as well as K&E um, Crafty Shop, I think her name is. I'm not sure. But I know it's K&E um, something, uh, Crafty something. And I'm so sorry because I've dealt with her so many times and I just can't remember the rest of the name. But I think that's what it is. Um, those two ladies this month got a box of Angel Mail from me. So next month, um, depending on what uh, you know what I have... And I mean, I still have some some nice things, but depending on you know who subscribes, who signs up for the Happy Meal Exchange, um, and if everything else goes well, then I should hopefully try to do at least two more packages, you know, um, to send out for next month too. So I'm trying to get to a point where I can at least do four, so that I'll be sending out an angel mail package at least once a week, uh, finances permitting and supplies permitting. That's my goal, to send out to somebody every week. Send out one angel mail package every week. That's where I'm trying to get to. Um, and obviously, you know, it has a little bit of everything that everybody sends in. So it's not like a package from from me. It's a package from many people at the same time. Um, but yeah, those are goals that are work in progress. <laughs> um, so let's see, where are we? Um, doo -doo -doo. You know what, I add a little bit of glitter there. Let me add a little bit of glitter on the side of this cloud if I didn't do that already just to um, give her a little bit of shine here but yeah that's what I'm working towards um, I want to branch off from just doing it with the people that are involved in Happy Mail and just pretty much doing it with the people that I see all the time, you know, are involved that, you know, they're either in need of this or in need of that. And just moving forward, just trying to make it something a lot bigger um, than, you know, what it's starting off as. So, you know, it's a work in progress. I, I just, it's only been a couple months since I started it, but there's just so many awesome people that have been donating um, and doing all of that. So... Hopefully, I'll get to a point where, um, you know, I can make it a really nice, uh, huge kind of network, networking type of thing. And um, I'll have a whole bunch of people involved <laughs> and be able to send to a whole bunch of people too. So, let's see, where am I? I need my stamping tool because I don't know how many times I'm going to have to stamp this, um, this thing here. So I'm going to get my little stamping, my little DIY stamping tool, Miss Mr. Corky 2.0. So I'm going to get Corky out and do it this way. I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do later. <laughs> but I kind of like the cleaning up process because it helps me to reprogram where everything is. So just in case, I was like, oh, there you are. Maybe I'll find my glue. <laughs> Hopefully. 
but I just finished yours today, so I'll be mailing it tomorrow, if not Friday. Awesome. I'm thinning out, but I have to go just one if it had to already. Awesome, ladies. No problem, Sherry. Thanks for stopping by and showing some love. Um, so for the most part, you know, I I'm trying to do like all of these different things, but um. I think once my kids graduate, because they're graduating from high school this year, I have twins that are graduating. So you guys know how that goes. Double the fees on everything. Um, I should be able to up, you know, up chuck the, the, the dose of, um, of the fees for shipping and stuff like that. I should be able to focus a little bit more on, on that part of the project and be able to uh, get a lot more packages done and get a lot of more packages out. So that's the that's the goal for right now. This tape. <laughs> this tape. Oh, all right. So you know what? I don't like how this is looking. I'm gonna put it right here. So a little over where. Um. I had to do it a little over where that circle is. Where's my ink pad? So that's kind of why I have the IC challenge so that I can just start having people's addresses there. So if I know your birthday's coming up or if I haven't given you anything yet, um, then I can kind of start sending out those, those kinds of packages moving forward. I think I got it. I think I got it in one shot. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Take this tape off. What I will have to do next is stamp out my little circle, but I think this pretty much covers it right there. And I'm going to do... I'm going to stamp my sentiment somewhere on this card itself and then just worry about the sequin mix on the inside with the stamped little ball. So I think that's how I'm going to go about doing that. So that'll work. And I think what I'm going to do is that for those of you that are still here by the time I'm done, um, these two cards that I have made are going to be given away today. So what do you guys think? It's going to be time for a game. We are going to play um, What's My Number? So stay tuned because um, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. I'm going to put this off to the side. I haven't done a giveaway in a little while when it comes to my live stream, so I'm making cards today, and I this is pretty much right up my alley to where I can definitely ship this. Um, and so that is what I'm going to do. So just to give you a little bit about the rules, um, for those of you that have never played uh, this game with me here before or are new to my live stream, uh, every now and then, I will create something. It could be anywhere from a mixed media project, a canvas, a altered, something or the other. Um, I really have no limits. Um, the only thing that limits me is the shipping cost. <laughs> but other than that, I really don't have any limits as far as um, you know uh, what I give away um, when I do my lives. It all depends on what I'm making. Um, and so, with that being said, um, I like to play a little game where I will write down a number. And I'll let you guys know what the parameters of those numbers are, depending on how many people are here. And then I'll give you guys the opportunity to guess the number that's written down. And the first person to guess the number that I have written down pretty much wins that, um, you know, that item. And I have two cards, so I'm going to be doing two different um, giveaways today. So hopefully, you know, one of you lucky ladies 
uh, will be the winner. Now, this is subject to U.S. only, you guys. So, on, if anybody here is from outside of the U.S., uh, I cannot afford to ship it to you. But if you are here in the U.S., then woohoo! You get to participate. So, um, every now and then, now I can't, I can't promise that I'm gonna do it all the time. When I first started, I was doing it more, more often because graduation was still ways away. Um, so it was easier for me to say I can do this, I can do that. Plus, um, YouTube, you know, the, the earnings from YouTube were a little bit better uh, then than they are now. Now with all of their changes, um, it's kind of affected some of us. I'm one of those who people that have affected because um, I was using what I was getting from my views as far as revenues. I was actually using that for shipping. So I was kind of like reinvesting it right back into my channel, if you will. But now with everything that's happening with um, them not making the ads and stuff like that and Pepsi and all these other companies pulling out and us not really making much revenue anymore on our views, um, I had to kind of cut back a little bit on doing the giveaways. But hopefully um, as my channel keeps growing and my views keep, you know, um, growing, I'll be able to do giveaways more often. And these kind of giveaways, you don't have to do nothing. You just watch my live stream and every now and then somewhere towards the end, I might announce that I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, or I might let you guys know right off the beginning, like, listen, I'm going to do a giveaway. But for the most part, I try to do this as often as I possibly can. Finances permitting, of course. But today is going to be one of those days, you guys. So, woohoo! Um, so I am going to pretty much stamp this out in black because I am going to be coloring in uh, the centers of uh, the you know this balloon thing just trying to make sure that I've got it inked up nice and well I think that'll do it and I put this too far there we go thank you of course brandy this is homemade designs <laughs> it's all about me using the stuff that you guys either sent to me or that i've won or that i've bought um you know the whole or i've gone like you know major shopping and stuff like that the saturdays i'm leaving that mostly for altering projects um, mixed media canvases art journaling i'm leaving saturdays for that kind of art and tuesdays i mean not tuesdays Wednesdays is going to be dedicated all to paper crafting, um, utilizing my dies and, oh this came out beautifully, this stamped out beautifully, uh, utilizing my dies and, um, you know, obviously I incorporate paint in 99% of what I do, unless it's something that I cannot paint, um, but, you know, doing different techniques, um, bringing a little bit of the mixed media, not overly too much of the mixed media into Wednesdays, but, um, Every now and then you just need to spice it up a little bit. So I will sometimes every now and then incorporate that. I think you guys enjoy that. Um, so I'm going to incorporate that a little bit. But not too much. Um, it won't be something that I'm going to say, oh, it's Wednesday. I'm going to make a canvas. Like Chances are I won't be doing that unless it's like a scrapbook layout or something of that nature. Um, or working on an album or things like that. Like I'm going to leave those kinds of projects to do on, on Wednesdays. And I'm going to leave everything else as mixed media, art journal, altered projects. I'm going to leave that for Saturday. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll have a nice run of everything. With everything. So, that is the goal. So, I think this goes like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and what I have in here. I have some peaches and some blues. I'm just going to put this like this. So, what colors can I put in here? Some metallics to make it shine. What can I put in there to make it shine? I want it to stand out. Should I use blue? Yes. I love games too. And I think that this way is the fairest way that I can do it. And that way you guys know that I'm not choosing no favorites. Um, and it's, you know, as fair as I can possibly make it. I like this purple. I think the purple will go well with the melanie, um, the melon background. 
so let's see let's see how this purple looks um, so I think it's a fair way to give you guys an, you know, an, 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 a fair opportunity to win something that I make. Um, cause at the end of the day, I can't save everything that I do, you know, even with happy meal and everything else, I still have stuff here that I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Um, that it just becomes a lot. So that's also a way for me to kind of de-stash, <laughs> de-stash my stash of the things that I create. Um, it's by giving it to you guys so and I love doing that I love it when you guys have something that I've made um, you know in your room or on your wall I love that so I try to do that as often as possible and I don't sell anything that I make for the most part although if you guys wanted me to make something you know custom then that would be a different story but I don't sell anything um, that I make I just make it for the love of making it and if it's for somebody then you know I make it with a lot of love for that person I want them to feel it bursting off the seams when they open it <laughs> um, and that's just the kind of person that I am you know for the most part I don't know about running uh, a business in this fields I think that that would be really really hard and not saying that it won't be rewarding but I don't want it I don't want it to turn into a job where I'm doing this for the money constantly because I think I would start to hate it and I don't want ever want to hate I don't ever want to get to a place where I hate what I'm doing or I feel overworked and underpaid or underappreciated um, I rather do it like this I know that you guys appreciate me doesn't matter how many or how few um, but know that the ones that I have here appreciate what I do in my time and, you know, help me enjoy what I'm doing and continue to enjoy what I'm doing for the long run, which is the goal here, to love it forever. <laughs> love it forever. Well, I am so happy um, that you guys like it. I really am. Because that really does encourage and motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing. And hopefully as time goes on, I'll be able to um, even incorporate, you know, other things. Like I know somewhere in my near future, what I would like to do is do like a, a regular, like every day do something different um, during the day. Like especially now that the summertime is coming. But I'm not sure. I don't want to go ahead and say that yet. But um I, I am thinking about doing something like every day, even if, if it's like an hour, um, you know, during the morning. Now that my, my eldest are going to be in college and I only have my little one who's not so little because she's in high school already. She's in the ninth grade, gonna, going to the 10th now. So not that I'm done with those duties yet, but the level is changing now. Um, and so I'm thinking that I'm going to have more free time and... I won't have to be so stressed out and luckily so far knocking on wood my son is doing good and he is um, getting a lot of help when it comes to um, you know moving forward going to college now this is something that is new to him um, and with everything with his health and just being able to be grown and manage your responsibilities in order for you to stay healthy and continue on this healthy path so a lot of things are changing and with my time freeing up, uh, hopefully I'll be able to come on here and just incorporate, uh, you know, different things and spend a little bit more time doing this or doing that. But everything in stages. We'll see as we go. So right now I'm just adding a little bit of this clear, uh, the clear uh, glitter to this. Because we can't all, we, you know, you can never have too much bling, right? Yes, Tanya, I use purple specially for you. Because I know you love yourself some purple, girl. And this is so cool because, like, I get to learn so much about you guys. Like, I know uh, Tanya loves purple. Uh, Brandy loves everything to do with the sea and the beach um, 
Maya's into all different kinds of stuff. Kelly likes vintage and shabby chic. <laughs> so it's just so cool because I get to learn so much from you guys. And you guys know that I'm like a nut job, right? I, I'm into everything. I love everything. And I'll try anything once. So, um, I think we make a perfect little family, right? Perfect little dysfunctional family. <laughs> um, so I covered up most of this with the glitter. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And I am okay with it kind of seeping out because I'm actually trying to clean up a lot of these edges. Um, get some of this excess paint off of here so that it dries quick. Uh, thank you. Yes, maybe you'll get lucky, doll. It's fair game. Everybody has a chance to win. It's all about do you call that lucky number? That's all there is to it. So this is uh, the balloon. I think it will look really cute in there with the sky. Um... Maybe I'll even add a little bit of white around here. Let me do that. I'm going to add a little bit of white around that around the edge. And how I am going to do that, because I'm not going to use paint to do it. I am actually going to, um, if I find them, here they are. I'm just going to use a little bit of gelato, which are these water-soluble type crayons. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the gelato. These are by Faber-Castell. But Crayola also makes um, water-soluble waxes. Um, these are oil pastels by Crayola. They're called Portfolio. And you can use these with water. I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, gelato. And I'm going to just rub a little edge around the balloon itself. Just so that that purple has a little bit of a break from all the rest of the colors. Beautiful. I don't want much. Pink, lavender. How about gold? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's see here. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this white again, just to kind of break up some of this, um, break up some of this color here. So I think I figured out how I got some of that paint on my card earlier. Um, so this is pretty much what I'm going to do. Just to add a little bit, um. Brighten this up just a smidge. And you could rub these out, which is what's good about these. So I'm just going to add it in and then kind of rub it out just to kind of brighten this area up um, so that it's not so... So like that. And hopefully once I put that purple in, you guys will be able to see um, how I kind of uh, blended this out. Just a smidge to make that purple kind of stand out. Because I do have that blue in that background. So I want to just make sure that um, this also shows. So just adding some of that blue on there. I can't hide from mixed media no matter what I do. <laughs> Somehow, some way, it just comes out of me. I'll end up using 1,500 things on one, uh, on one little project. So, so you, uh, hopefully you'll see it better. But you can see now that that purple just looks a little bit more, um, it looks a little bit more crispier. But to push that up just a notch, I am going to grab my black marker and I am going to outline um, that circle in the inside and then you'll really be able to see it then you'll really be able to see that edge there there we go and I'm gonna clean up some of these black lines once it's all dry 
I'll go into it with, with my marker before um, I actually glue it all together. I'm just waiting for this to kind of dry, which is almost there. Then I have to re put my paints back where they belong. So, um, what I have left to do is add my sentiment onto my stamped uh, card. And I have the hugest mess here in all of USA. <laughs> I'm going to make the pop flower card, I think. Uh, I would love to see that because you know that was an epic fail for me. And I saw Liz made one and I was like, what? She made one and I'm over here stuck. <laughs> sending smiles across miles. Oh, I like that. Sending smiles across miles. Oh, I like that. Me likey. How did you get started crafting and do you inherit or just came about it on your own? Um, as far as crafting, I think I've always been attracted. It's always something that has intrigued me. Um, I remember when I was like in elementary school, um, everybody would always come to me to cut out the hearts or to draw this or to draw that. People would just always kind of gravitated to me on that level. Um, and I've always loved to like help people do stuff like that. Like... I was always ever so happy to like cut out a heart or, or cut out or cut out like a frog or whatever it was. Um, so I think on a certain level, I, I'm just like that now. Is it inherited? I don't know because I don't know who else in my family, you know, going down um, was an artist or is an artist or whatever the case might have been or was inclined to do this or to do that when it comes to painting or drawing or whatever the case was. Um, I know that there are people in my family that do it um, or that have painted and stuff like that but I don't know too much about them and or how close of a relation uh, we are. I've just heard you know small little stories nothing major especially when like my family sees this um, the things that I create but my way of doing it is very different I think than what than what they've done um, you know in the past so I don't know. I. I'm going to say that maybe it's a little bit inherited, but mostly it's all mental. Um, I think being a little crazy helps. And um, being in tune with everything around you kind of helps as well. Um, and that's definitely me all the way. I'm completely in tune with my surroundings at all times. <laughs> so it's just something that I love to do. And I just I just have to do it. I just have to. I'll, I, me like some people are addicted to exercising and, and some people are addicted to other things me I'm addicted to this like I have to draw a line daily um, or I feel crummy I literally feel like I'm so ugh. I'll be so upset at myself um, so yeah <laughs> a little bit of everything I guess a little bit of funk, a little bit of rock and roll, <laughs> a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. Yes, it's Brandy. Um, so let's see here. Again, I need tape because I took my tape off thinking that I wasn't going to need it to use it anymore. And I still got to use it, so I need more tape. Um, and I'm gonna stamp on my sentiment and pretty much what I'm doing right now is just giving that little piece of cardboard um, the little card style some time to dry and then I am going to um, cut that out and get this card assembled and we're gonna play a game and then next week we're gonna be making paper dresses I cannot wait to do the next one. I've got two so far, and I think I'm going to include one in my giveaway now that I'm doing. Uh, most likely going to include one of the dresses, and I'll let the person choose which one they want, um, be it the steampunk or the other one, or the very first one that I made. So I'm probably going to include one of those dresses in there, because um, I always like to include something that I made, uh, you know, a little personal touch there. I think that about does it for the stamp. Um, and yeah and I'm gathering supplies um, I don't want to say supplies I'm just gathering different things 
um, to give away things that I haven't used things that I know I'm not gonna use things that I know are not really my style to use that I cannot um, incorporate them into like my mixed media or anything um, that I'm really into doing um, the kind of things that I'm gonna be adding in there um, and depending on whatever your card says as far as um, whoever the winner is then I'll try to cater um, to that person's style um, hopefully I'll have the things but um I'm also going to do a little bit of shopping for that as well to incorporate some new things so once I know who the winner is for my challenge then I'm going to create their package because I want to be able to create it more more to their liking um, and something that will suit them well and that I know that they're going to use I think this is crooked uh, I think it's crooked let me see if I can fix it I think my card is a little crooked, so I'm just moving this around. I think it's gonna go like that. <laughs> so let's see. I am the same way. I feel I have so much untapped crappiness. We all do. We all do. Let me tell you, it took me a long time to get to the point where I am okay with my mistakes. I was and still am my own worst critic and I would normally tend to throw something out or I'll rip it up into shred or it'll turn into something for my mixed media because I'll rip it into a million little pieces and then I'll use the pieces to create something else. Um, it took me a long time to get to the point where I am okay with making mistakes and I just try to find different solutions. Um, for fixing them like I did with the stars. I really didn't like how that came out, but it's growing on me now And I'll be able to fix them up a little bit um, But we have to get out of our own heads. I think it's the biggest thing um, Is literally being in our own heads. We are our own worst critic and our biggest enemy Because we tell ourselves the things that nobody hears and we just tell ourselves the meanest things and we just have to get, you know, we just have to realize that that's just the little inner hater <laughs> talking. And you can't listen to the haters, even if the haters coming from within you. You know, all of our stuff is crooked. <laughs> yes, Brandy, <laughs> it is. That's for sure. But I guess it kind of works, right? Because it's up, 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 and away, kind of. So this is the sentiment that I used, sending smiles across miles. And I'm going to, you see how that star is like, it's got a little bump there. There's not supposed, it's like a male star, I guess. It's not supposed to have that bump there. Um, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I'm just going to go into it and just add a little bit of detail to that. And this is pretty much dry now. Then I'll cut that out and we'll get to the giveaway. Woohoo! You see? You can say that again. <laughs> yes, all of our stuff is crooked. With rulers, without rulers, it don't even matter anymore. I've literally gotten to the point where I've given up caring about how crooked some stuff is. It's like love isn't perfect, nothing is perfect. So what if it's crooked? So pretty much to add to the imperfection, I added some imperfect lines um, to kind of trace out the star. And I'll probably add some little, um, those little teeny um, stars that I have there, I'll probably add some of those um, moving forward. So time to add this. And doo -doo -doo. I'm just gonna do it from the top and cut around the image because I'm gonna need that edge in order to glue it on to the back. So I'm just gonna cut around the image 
and since I do listen to what you guys say I am gonna put the sequence on the paper and then stick the circle on <laughs> um, but before I do that what I will do is fix fix this fix these black lines Now you could just stamp over it if you wanted to do that, but I'm going to do it like this. All right, woohoo, we got it, we got it. Okay, I am a okay with that. Whoever receives it, look past the imperfections. <laughs> de todo un poco, si, sí, de todo un poquito, un sancocho ahí, de todo un poquito. <laughs> um, so let's see. So I like that, I like how that looks. Okay, if I can see how it looks. Um, yeah, me likey. I'll add some stars. Got the purple going on in there. And I think that'll do it. Let me get some sequins. And this is going to be the first one, which I'm going to call Sunshine. And then we're going to have this one, which I'm going to call um, the Balloon, because that's what it is. So... <laughs> We're going to add a little bit of that, and to this one I am going to actually not go with uh, yellow so much, but I'm going to go with um, a little bit of the silver, these silver stars, and this is my pinks and purples. Pinks and purples, and I'm gonna add a little bit of pink in there. And some purples, of course. I don't know if this is any better. <laughs> I'm making a mess either way I try. Um, let's see. And what else do I have in here? Let me see. I got to get some noise makers, which I, that's what I call the little teeny um, feet. And maybe I can find a nice color uh, that can go in here. I got some clear. Got some clear ones. Some purple ones? Let me find out. I think this will do it for me. I got a lot of stuff going on in here. <laughs> uh, oh, I would love to see that paper dress. Yes, that's going to be on next Wednesday's um, Hall Made Designs. And I'll be using some of the um, laces that was gifted to me from Tanya and other people. And I'm going to incorporate that into the aspect of the being homemade. Um, I have a little bit of black. I wonder if a little bit of black would work on this. purple no I do have a little bit of black I'm gonna add a little bit of this black just a teeny little bit so
So I have in here pink, clear, purple, like two different kinds of purples, two different kinds of pink, clear, and a little drop of black. Um, only because the balloon has the black lines. So hopefully that'll all look good together. And I'm going to get my little um, thing now and stick it on. Wish me luck, everybody. I have to make sure that it's completely away from the stamped edge. Yay, Eureka! I probably could have added more. It's kind of hard not being able to see it. Um, so, I don't know if that shows well at all or not, but... I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's what's in there. Um, the balloon's a little crooked. Well, not the balloon, but the stamp itself. But that's fine. I'll make it look like the balloon itself is a little crooked, too. And I have to cut out a circle to put over that because I didn't cut out enough paper around the stamp. So I think I could start, um, well, you know what? It needs a little flag because it had a little flag on there. But I know what I'm going to do to get that flag. I'm going to put these markers back for the most part. Get some of those markers out of the way so I can have some room and I'm gonna get that little stamp again and I'm gonna add the flag up there where did I put you where did I put you little stamp I'm gonna add the flag up there so I had a little flag so I'm gonna add that little flag up there and um Then I'm going to glue this bad boy together. Thank you guys. I'm trying you guys. I am trying. Uh, let's see here. Alright. So. She's got her little uh, marking on there. And what do I need? What do I need? Um, doo -doo -doo. Just adding more to the edge so that it doesn't look so um, clean. Some people like the crisp, clean lines. Um, I'm okay with it being just a tad bit messy. I just don't want all these colors to kind of get lost in there. And so. Dun, da, 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 puppy power we have it let me doo -doo -doo. this is black this is fine let me just kind of darken this up a little bit darken up this little flag that like that may cut out a circle or a square or something that I can cover up the back of this card with and this is 
probably way bigger than I needed, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, so this goes like this. And it shines on the inside and shines on the outside. And I am going to get myself some glue. And glue this to that and then that to that. And then it shall be a magical day. Thanks, Maida. I love it. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be handmade if it wasn't crooked or deformed in some way. <laughs> yes. Every now and then I do make something that looks crooked and deformed. <laughs> so, um, I am okay with that. It's all part of learning. Yes, it is. So, let's see here making sure that this is kind of uh, in line there and I spun my balloon just a little bit that way to make it look like the wind is pushing it in a certain kind of direction And I am going to be covering up most of this. Um, I'm going to be covering up this whole page here um, with some kind of um, scrapbooking piece of paper or something that will match uh, my color scheme some way, somehow. So right now, I'm only worried about covering up the center. Before you guys get it in your house, it will be covered on the inside. Um, and then... Um, I don't know if I'll write it. I'll definitely add a little note. I might not write on the card itself in case you guys want to use it for something else. But um, you'll have a little note from me in there. And I'm going to add some little stars. And then we're done, you guys. And this is when my little thing would have came in handy. But it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to add a few little stars here and there. Nothing too major. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to brush the glue on. Where's my glue? I'm going to actually brush the glue on, so I'm just going to add a little dab of glue here. And this is clear, which is the only reason I'm really using it. And I'm just going to add a little dab of glue here and there, and then I'm going to stick some stars to it, and then... We're going to call this card Handmade. And the first place I'm going to start, obviously, is where I did my little boo-boo. So, I'm just going to add a few little stars here and there. And some of them are going to stick. Some of them are not. These are the tiny little um, little stars that I'm just adding here and there just to hide some of the little um, areas where I feel like I kind of messed up a little bit or it's not as clean as it should be. Or ink got in the way or something got in the way. So I'm just adding why is it that the stars are falling everywhere except where I'm putting the glue? <laughs> That's so funny right now. They're falling everywhere except where I need the where, where I put the glue. <laughs> it is special from you. What is send it on? Aw, thank you. That means a lot to me. It really, really does. I love our little times together, you guys. You have no idea. So, let's see. So, 
and I'm just gonna move some of these into place and um, hopefully some of them caught and I'm gonna remove the excess glitter off of here now well not so much so much for removing the excess stars they jumped off the page like okay we've had enough Okay, I like that. That came out pretty cool. We just have little stars everywhere. That came out really nice. Let me add a little bit more glue over here. Um, just a little bit more glue over here. And add a little bit more stars over here. And then we are good. And I'll show you guys what this card came out looking like. A little bit of sequins on the inside and the outside but overall a really nice um, end result so I'm really happy with this card and I thought I was gonna hate it and I love it now so pretty cool yes yes pretty pretty cool where's my glue where's my glue just adding glue in little pieces where I feel like I missed um, or I stamped uh, too much and the little ink transferred itself out so a little bit of imperfections here and there um, that I'm just covering up with a little bit of stars okay um, don't take too long I'm about to do the drawing We're almost there. Just kind of pressing some of them down. And let's see. I think, uh, yeah. I think we're pretty much there. So to kind of show you guys. And hopefully this thing will focus, 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 focus. <laughs> Uh, let's see what can I use maybe something black uh, something green maybe does that help so we have stars everywhere and then we have a little shaker action going on and it says miles towards what is it miles sending smiles across the miles that's what it says and we pretty much got it I'm gonna cover this up a little bit more but I'll do that at my own leisure what I will do now is get ready to play a game you guys have survived <laughs> and since you are the survivors you will get to play a game and I always play the games at the end of my live streams for those of you guys that have um, been a part of them before you know the drill for those of you guys that are new uh, I always do it at the end after I've completed or at least 99% uh, completed whatever it is that, I, that I'm doing And so, hopefully on a future, um, yeah. I'm going to be getting um, some of these molds that I ordered from AliExpress. When I get them and I'll do my haul video and I'll show you guys like what I got and so on and so forth. My goal is to make a fairy jar um, that I'm going to be giving away. So the next fairy jar that you guys see me do, if you guys see that I'm doing a fairy jar that day on the live stream, that fairy jar is going home with one of you guys. So, it's going to be a molded baby. It's not going to be a picture, and that's why I'm super, super excited. And hopefully I'm going to make the wings, and I'm going to make everything from scratch, and I'm going to hopefully make a beautiful little scene for you guys. And somebody's going to win that that day, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Hopefully soon. I'm just waiting for them to uh, send my package. So, as I explained previously, I am going to write down a number. Let me see how many people are in the room. 
Who's still present? Say I. Just so that I know how many people are actually watching, listening, and actively involved in what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and then I'll be able to write these numbers down and we'll start the giveaway. And I just have to clear up my mess because I'm going to have to scroll down to see who said what. Um, so I'm just cleaning up my laptop because I threw everything on top of it because I have my laptop right in front of me. That's how I read you guys' messages. I have the world's most humongous mess today. And I'll leave the rest of these cards to do something else with you guys on another day. I'm not sure when that'll be, but... Um, as I start figuring out different things to do, then I'll, you know, this um, whole create homemade designs uh, that I got going on on Wednesdays will start growing. So, let's see. So we have Kelly, we have Brandy. You're just in time, Isabel. I'm about to announce the winner. <laughs> well, we're about to play a game, so uh, you made it. I made this today. I made this card. Hopefully you guys can see it. So I made this card. And today we used a watercolor technique using markers. And we added some metallic paints in there. We added some glamour dust paints. And my laptop went off. What had happened was, right when I was about to do this, I might have to pull it up on my phone because my laptop screen went dark. Not sure why. And so I have this. That I made. This is the first card that I made again with the watercolor technique. I cannot see what you guys are saying right now. That's what happened. My laptop got unplugged and I didn't even notice. So I am going to pull out you guys' comments here on my phone. So just give me a second, bear with me. I'm going to pull out you guys' comments here on my phone and just give me a while while I do that. I'm just pulling it up because I guess in all of the moving around, I unplugged my laptop and I didn't notice and when I went to go uh, see you guys' comments, it got unplugged. So just put it me and let me just find my own stuff. <laughs> I gotta find my own channel on here. Homemade designs now live. I see myself. Okay. Oop, I hear myself. Awesome. So I am here and I'm able to kind of um, see you guys' comments on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, write a number down with the first one that we're going to give away is sunshine which is this one and i'm going to call a number let me see how many people are in the room right now because i can't tell um it doesn't tell me how many people are here does it say nope it doesn't say um so i guess i'm going to call a number between one and twenty because i really ha don't have an idea how many people are here um and so, huh? 11. Okay. So, 1 in 20 is good. I have 11 people on right now. So, that'll actually make it a little bit easier um, uh, for me. And so, I'm going to write it down a number where the first card that we're going to be auctioning off is going to be called Sunshine, which is this one right here. And it's going to go to the lucky um, caller of this card. I'm going to write with my brush. You guys see me? And this one is Sunshine. And I'm going to write in here a number between 1 and 20. I'm going to fold it and put it in the card. I'm going to type in the text messages. I'm going to type the word start. Once I type the word start, then you guys start calling on numbers. Whoever guesses the number that I wrote in here is the person who's going to win it. The first person to call that number out is the winner of this card. Okay? So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to write this number in. And I'll let you guys know when to start. And the number is in the card. Yeah, 
and I have my phone here, so I'll be looking at who um, whoever calls out the number. Oh my God, Kelly, that was quick. The number is twelve. <laughs> wow, Kelly, that's amazing. The number is twelve, and Kelly was the first person to call the number out. That was super quick, Kelly. So you won sunshine, Kelly. This is your card. <laughs> Super cool. So I am texting As I am getting ready to do this so we got the first card out of the way this card belongs to Kelly Kelly I'll have it to you in a little bit now we're on to the purple one um, the purple balloon so I'm gonna get a piece of paper and write down a number for that I'll let you guys know when to go just like before and let's see I just gotta get a piece of paper here for me to be able to write this down and then I'll write it in my planner so that I know so purple balloon and I'll write down a number between 1 and 20 you guys between 1 and 20 um, we're going to go with I have written down my number And the same person cannot win twice, okay? So if Kelly won, then Kelly, um, you won. <laughs> Somebody else got to get a chance to win, okay? So, in your mark, get set, go. Jay, the number was not 15, the number was 12, not 15, and Kelly was the first one to say 12. Just checking here, but nobody has said the number yet. Keep going. You guys are going around in circles on the number and you still haven't hit it. Tanya, you are the winner. The lucky number for this one was number six, purple balloon. Tanya, you won. This one's yours. Woohoo! You guys did awesome. So we have our two lucky winners for today. Just to show this number again, the winning number was number 12, not 15, number 12 for Sunshine. And the lucky number for the purple balloon was number 6. And Tanya got that one. So you guys, I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you guys tune in next week. 
Uh, next Wednesday, we're going to be making um, paper dresses. This Saturday, I have no idea what we're going to be making, but we'll be diving into a mixed media adventure as usual. And um, we'll figure out what we do as we do it. Um, you guys still have time to participate in my index card challenge if you haven't done so already. I'm extending the date, I think, till the 15th um, is the day that I want the cards to have already been. Um, I should have them in my hand by the 15th. So a good rule of measure, try to um, mail them out at least by the 12th or the 13th. I'm not sure what days those fall on. Um, so that I can have it by the 15th because I do plan on calling a winner out very shortly thereafter that. Um, and I will not be giving any more extensions. So if you haven't already done so and you would like to participate, um, please feel free to go ahead and join. Um, if you haven't made a VR and you want to do that as well, you still have a couple more days. I'm going to allow a couple more days for you to do that. So you can feel free to do that as well. Um, and thank you guys as usual. You guys have awesome hugs, kisses to all of you. You are all amazing. And I hope you guys um, get your crafting on and have an awesome rest of the week. And I look forward to seeing what you guys are doing. Um, and I will catch you on the next one. So bye for now. And as soon as I see my hand wave, I will be shutting up the app. Have a good one, you guys.